Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alita. For anyone that's new, I share prophetic words that the Lord gives me through dreams. Exciting stuff. <laughs> I dream so often, it's not even funny. Like it always feels like I'm out on an adventure before waking up. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> There's a dog at my door. She's adorable. Hey Bella. Oh, she can't come in um, so I'm sorry for that distraction so like I was saying I share prophetic words so um, today's word is based on a dream that I had this morning slash last night yeah <laughs> I slept pretty late last night so it was probably this morning um, very very profound dream very much speaking about current situations um, world situations, personal situations, it's going to be a good word, um, friends. So, But before I get into it, as always, it's so important, guys, take this word before the Lord, especially if it's something that resonates in your spirit, but you don't have confirmation, you're hearing it for the first time, take it to Him so that He can confirm it for you. He will definitely do it if the word is for you. You've got to make sure that His voice is the main voice in your life and you hear from Him, that you have a relationship with Him. There's nothing more important in this world than having a relationship with the Creator of the world, okay? <laughs> so you've got to make sure that you're in a deep relationship with Him. For some of you, this may be something that the Lord has already been sharing with you. You already have some insight into this and this word is confirmation of that. I still encourage you to pray. I still encourage you to seek direction from Him. Have Him answer your questions because I only know a little bit of the story. He knows the full story. My bad. My battery died, <laughs> but I'm back. We can continue. I think I was, I was doing the disclaimer. I think we're done with that. So I'll share the dream, guys. Sorry about that. Um, in the dream, wow, yeah. I'm going to share what I believe the Lord is allowing me to share in this dream because there are personal elements to it, like extremely personal elements to this dream, which I'm going to leave out because they're just they're specific for me. Um, but... Yeah, the rest of the dream is for a broader audience. So I was at the airport. I had just seen somebody off and I was in this place. So I wasn't in like my home country or anywhere that was like home to me. And I had been visiting this particular place, which so I had actually taken a COVID test just to get to this place to begin with. But now I was seeing someone off like a friend i was seeing them off and they were getting on the plane and now i was leaving the airport to, or trying to leave the airport to get back to the city but unfortunately i was told oh you need to do a COVID test to leave the airport and get back into the city and i was like no there's no way i'm spending 50 dollars on a test when i did one when i came into the city a while back like i did it when i first came here at this very airport and they gave me this test kit. They didn't want to hear my story. They gave me the test kit. So it was like a whole bunch of, it was just testing stuff. Like there was some syringes and it was wrapped in like this, um, yeah, all this medical, medical things. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have the vocab for it, guys. So I was holding my pack and I realized, you know how in a dream you just know stuff, even though you just don't know how you know it, but you know. So the rule seemed to be that if you had this pack, you wouldn't be allowed to leave the airport because it would mean that you haven't done your COVID test yet. So I had to make sure <laughs> that I got rid of this pack so that I could walk out um, the, yeah, walk out of the airport. I had done the test, for goodness sake. So I'm looking for a place to stash this test, right? Or this testing kit. And I see this like ramp place because I can't find any trash cans anywhere. No trash bins, no way. So there's like this little ramp on the side and it's, um, so I see some people go up it like they walk up with ease. So I decide, oh, I'm going to walk up that ramp and, and dump it somewhere there. So I walk up the ramp as well, but it gets so steep guys that I'm now literally hanging and trying to like put my leg over so I can get over the, you know, the edge of it. And by that time I had kind of put my COVID test just in that space, 
like at the top of, of where this ramp was taking me and I just gave up I was like I'm not gonna try and get over this thing to look for a trash can I'm gonna leave this testing kit here so I went down and you know just happy with myself that I achieved that and then a police officer comes up to me and says what did you do with your test kit where is it but he asked me in a way that he already knew that I had dumped it and where I had dumped it um, and I was like no this is not right like I don't want to do another test because I've already done one it doesn't make sense how does this make sense please tell me how it makes sense so I was you know just not having it basically and he was starting to kind of like, you know, he was walking with me and really listening to me and really like, okay, concerned and stuff and understanding my logic. And by now we had reached a lower level, which was uh, close to the way out. So that's where I was trying to go this whole time. And then all of a sudden, I noticed that there's an iguana, but a really large one. I, I've never really seen one in person, have I? Maybe, maybe maybe i've been to a few zoos in my life so i probably have <laughs> but it was there it was big and there was another smaller one which was i you know how dreams are it's supposed to be an iguana but it really it was like a bright green like a almost like a lime type of green and they were tackling each other or fighting each other or trying to mate i couldn't tell what they were doing but it first seemed a bit far away from us and then it seemed close to us and then the one the big iguana was just like slap in the middle of the place that we're going so the police officer could have tripped over it but he didn't and i began to notice all these strange creatures just manifesting they just came out of nowhere and i was like that's it i'm out of here and i ran and i'm running but this whole place that it's happening it's almost like in the middle of the passageway you know and it's all muddy so this is where all these animals are coming up from all these creatures rather and i'm running and at some point i can feel that they're pursuing me right and now it's like a rhino and some other creatures then everything slows down i'm like in slow-mo but i can see that there's like this um rock this it's almost like a rectangular square square rock that i'm trying to reach so that i can use it somehow to help myself but as i see this and i'm trying to reach for it everything is in slow motion so i'm kind of like everything just slow down and i'm trying to stretch and i look behind me the looking behind me was not in slow mo i looked behind me to see what was going on and the animals that had been pursuing me the gap that was there before because i had a good amount of space between them the gap had was a lot less i mean one of the rhinos was practically about to touch me and i could see further back the police officer was standing there almost like i felt like this encouraging spirit like he was egging me on and then i turned back to focus on this rock that i was trying to get and i managed to get it everything started to move at normal speed again actually in fact it moved so quickly that i was able to somehow get away from these animals to somehow um get outside and as soon as i got outside i felt like okay i'd achieved my goal i was free um i was ready to get into an uber or <laughs> some kind of transport to get to my accommodation and um i remember just seeing all these gas stations and then when I went to one, it was actually a restaurant and I just sat down with some people that I knew and just we had a good time. And that was pretty much the dream, guys. So, like I said, <laughs> I had to leave out certain bits um, because they were not necessary um, and they really are very personal to me. So, um, what I believe the Lord was showing me or showing us, um, those who this word is for, is that... You know, in this time, the current times that we're in, I believe that the reason there was that COVID test situation in the dream is to show that this is a dream for the present time. And um, I believe God is showing us that with regards to everything that's happening in the world, with regards to the pandemic, um, all the things, guys, that there is there is an end that is coming to all of this right we're going to get to a point where we're not going to feel so bound we're not going to feel um like we have to do a certain thing in order to get our freedoms back if anything i believe that the lord is saying that we are to continue to contend in prayer 
um, for the nations, for one another. And that's why I say that this word for today, the dream to me was on different levels, on a personal level and on a more global, national, international level, global level. So um, if we look at, so that first part of me, you know, not wanting to retake the test because I'd taken one and I hadn't left the country, so why are you making me take another test and expecting me to pay so much money for it? And me pleading my case with this police officer saying, you know, I don't, I think it's, it doesn't make sense. And I think the more that we begin to highlight certain things that don't make sense, the more we begin to speak truth, the more that um, we are going to find. I think specifically, let me put it this way, in the spiritual realm, we will have favor. So that police officer to me just represented um, someone that is almost like a guardian. And just even the way that he asked me, like, what have you done with your tests? You know, almost, it seemed like he was reprimanding me, but he already knew what I had done with the test. Um, and he was willing to listen, like he was listening to me go on about how... Um, nonsensical it all is and I could sense that he was actually with me he was um, on my side so it's like the Lord has already deployed you know angels and just help there is help guys in this time if I can put it that way there's help and there is hope and we are going to get through the difficulties that we're in at the moment um, just the, the part with all the you know animals starting to manifest all these different creatures starting to manifest and you know first it seemed so far away then it got so close and then I had to be running because it was just popping up everywhere and it's felt like that it's felt so overwhelming um, just when we think about the pandemic and the way the we've we've just had to change our lives so much and i'm not saying that the lord wants to take us back to what we used to be because i don't believe that at all i believe that he is doing a new thing and um i don't even know the full extent of what that looks like if if i you know i have ideas but you know the lord is going to reveal what he wants to reveal in good time but um just how we've all been feeling like there's so much coming up it's almost like overwhelming because it's come so quickly one from one day to the next things change and you know one day it's you know things are voluntary the next day it's mandatory you know one day it's it's you know there's just one variant and the next day there's like five variants so it's like all of these things that have just come in waves of just um yeah just they've come in waves right and they've made our lives so uncomfortable but the lord is showing you right now through this dream that you have endured, like you are enduring, you are, you're running the race in such a way that you are going to succeed, even though it may seem like there's been delay, you know, that part where everything just kind of went in slow motion, even though it seemed like things were just not happening at the pace that you wanted, um, there's delay, you feel like you know it's all catching up and coming up on you because some of those creatures were like really close but when you reach out to the rock who is Jesus Christ guys that to me that rock I didn't know why I needed that rock in the dream it was like what was I gonna do with the rock but I knew I needed it I knew I needed to get my hand on it to touch it and I think that's what the dream is pointing to, just Jesus being the rock of salvation, the cornerstone that the builders rejected. He is that cornerstone. He's the one that we need to anchor ourselves in. And a lot of you have done that. You've anchored yourself in truth. You've anchored yourself in Him. And because you've done that, very quickly things are going to change for you. You're going to be able to break free. You're going to have the freedom that you seek. You're going to be able to walk out and even though you're expecting um, one thing, instead you're going to find a different thing. You're going to find something that's unlikely, something that's unusual, but good and refreshing. And it's going to bring community. It's going to bring um, just a togetherness. It's going to bring a time of refreshment and relaxing and connection um, with people. Yeah, so, um, and I think on 
on a more personal level with all those personal attacks that a lot of you have been getting you know I've been one of those people just those personal attacks that have felt like they've just been overwhelming they've popped up from every direction and you don't even know what's going on all you know, know is that I just need to just run I need to like just keep moving and you've kept the faith you've kept moving you've kept your eyes on jesus you have held on to him you've reached out to him he's coming through for you in this season he's coming through for you in this season i remember in the dream when i looked back and i saw um when i was in that slow-mo situation and i saw the police officer he wasn't doing anything he was just standing there but just the way he was it felt like he was encouraging me like you can do this guys the lord is helping us in this time whether we see it or not sometimes these divine helpers are in the background they're in the in the you know you can't see who they are sometimes they're actual people that the lord puts on their heart to help you and very often it's angels um that's something that the lord has kind of been putting on my radar um i haven't really I don't think I've heard any teachings about angels and all of that and I see that um, there are some people that are doing those teachings and I'm like maybe I should listen to this because I've never really known much I just know I don't know much let me put it that way but the Lord has got angels deployed to take care of you to egg you on to encourage you the Lord is saying the time of just all of these attacks coming over you overwhelming you is coming to an end it really is and it's gonna happen so quickly just like the word I gave yesterday just things are gonna happen so fast even though it's felt like everything has been taking forever like Lord I feel like I'm not even moving I feel like everything is just about to pounce on me and bury me literally but it's not gonna happen as long as you hold on to the rock of salvation to Jesus Christ you are going to get through this. I want to read a scripture. I mean, there are many scriptures that I could read, but I'm going to give you Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 4, which says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up, and let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding shame, Jesus. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Then you won't become weary and give up. You won't become weary and give up, guys. Um, there's so much in the scripture I want to unpack, but I don't believe that I'm, I don't believe the Lord wants me to unpack. Um, keep your eyes on Jesus, guys. Reach out to him. Or you, some of you have been doing that, and God is saying, I acknowledge that. I see that, and I'm about to change things for you. Do not give up. You are there. You're right at the door. Because as soon as I got a hold of that rock, I was out that door. I don't even know what happened to the animals. It just all disappeared and I was out the door. It was like, oh, it was a beautiful sunny day. It was just where I needed to be. And, you know, just instead of there being a gas station, it was a restaurant and just meeting up with friends and just being, feeling safe, you know, feeling safe <laughs> um, after all those creatures were trying to get me. So, yeah, I pray that this word has really been... Um, a blessing to you guys and that it's made sense um yeah remember always remember god is a good father he loves you so much guys before i actually and guys thank you so much for all the encouragement that you guys have sent me <sighs> y'all <Yeah. laughs> oh my gosh some of the emails it's like i've been praying over the past few months like lord show me what you want me to do what do you want me to do and it's like god has just been like almost silent on the matter he, he's like told me certain things like you know rest or you know just be in the space but i've been wanting like an action plan i want to know what to do because i feel when i'm doing something then everything's okay almost but the lord just didn't allow me to to have that kind of release but now it's like with just all the encouragement that you guys have sent 
some of the emails that you guys have sent it's like god is just answering me like i'll receive one email with an instruction from the lord and then the second email right after that one has the how to do what that first email was saying two different people two different parts of the world i'm like only god can do this so thank you guys for just praying for me and hearing the lord on my behalf and sending me those encouraging messages they are priceless they are more precious to me than gold it's gonna rain today <laughs> how awesome is that <laughs> okay i don't know if you guys heard that that was thunder anyway guys god is a good father he really really loves you he wants to see you when he's on your side if god if what what's the scripture <laughs> if god is for you who can be against you oh my gosh sorry i went blank there guys always remember that um and that's simply because you're so special to him yeah Til